Get on, Skidoo, and go do it. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is Danny B. And what you're seeing right now is my 1998 Grand Touring 583 Rotax engine from Skidoo. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about Iridium spark plugs versus the ordinary spark plugs. So I'm not going to get in detail about the ordinary spark plugs, but we all know that they fail. And uh, yeah, they do, they do the job, of course. They do the job right like they're supposed to, but now there's a step higher and those are iridium spark plugs so let's go see on ngk's website what those iridium spark plugs do and do better than the normal spark plugs so yeah so here we go iridium spark plugs as you guys can see right here whoa 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 that's not where i want to go where are we going where are we going iridium spark plugs whoa okay so yeah let's talk about the technical information iridium spark plugs bring these benefits improved acceleration when you switch to iridium plugs acceleration is improved there is a fast response to the throttle operation and you can feel the difference compared to plugs in original plug and that's true because i have been using the uh, iridium spark plugs since i rebuilt my engine and let me tell you, there is a difference. The crisper on the throttle, and you can feel it as soon as you drop into spark plugs. So, uh, more engine power. That's true. Iridium plugs improve the engine performance in terms of power. The extra power becomes apparent in situations like climbing hills, giving you a comfortable driving and touring experience. True. That's very true. Improved ignition and starting characteristics. Now, you guys stick around, because I'll be doing a test of that right after I'm done talking to you guys about the technical information on Iridium spark plugs. So, right after this, so just stick around. So, uh, the ultra-fine center electrode of an Iridium plug ensures fast ignition and improves the engine's starting characteristics, since there is a little dispersion in the position of the spark idling is table 2. So, what I'll be doing in the video is... I put in ordinary stock spark plugs and I'm doing cold start and just to see which one will start first. So uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, something uh, that we'll be checking out. So uh, just make, just like differencing uh, between the normal spark plug and the iridium spark plug. So uh, yeah, on cold starts. And better fuel economy. Since iridium plugs ensure excellent ignition, the gasoline is burned efficiently. These plugs provide both economic and environmental benefits. But this is a two-stroke engine, so it tends to smoke a lot. So are they very environmentally friendly? Well, I don't know, but I'm sure they're, they burn more oil and gas than the normal stock uh, spark plugs. So, uh, yeah, just stick around, because right now, we're going to go do the test. So, uh, let's go see that right now. Right now, I'm going to talk to you guys about the normal spark plugs, the BR9ES, uh, that be NGK brand, that uh, Skidoo puts standard in their uh, snowmobiles. Well, that's what they had back in 1998. So, I guess they still use those even in the newer sleds. Anyways... So yeah, I'm going to be talking to you about the standard plugs versus the Iridium spark plugs. So right now I just want to do a quick little test. My sled is cold right now. It hasn't even been warmed up. As you can see, I can touch the pipe fairly easy and I'm not burning my hands or nothing. Because this is the first startup of the day. So just to show you, the NGK, those would be the standard spark plugs gapped at 20 millimeters like this in the service manual the r90s all right so i'm gonna do a cold start and i'll show you how it idles with these spark plugs i'll put you guys right here so you can see me oh, that seems not bad all right What you're hearing right now is my neighbor. He's going with his four-wheeler. 
So anyways, that's not what we're talking about. So I'm going to show you how I cold start my snowmobile. That's how I cold start it every time. So first of all, I usually give it a few wanks on the crank. Key's not on, nothing's on yet, just to lubricate the pistons. Two good yanks is enough. Then I pull on my kill switch. So right now the sled is ready to go. So this is the standard spark plugs. So here we go. I'm going to try it without the primer and I'll see what happens. Nothing at all. I'll even try a fourth pull. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So if I prime it once, I keep the primer wide open. Let's see what happens. Okay, that was one first primer. Now let's try a second one. Keep it right up again. Here we go. X and that would be the NGK brand all right so uh, I'll be showing you guys right now so I'll just go get the stand like yesterday like yesterday you see pipe is cold and touching it no problem I could even uh, Leave my hand there all day, but I don't want to freeze because it's minus 10 outside. It is cold. Uh, let's see if this is a good... Yeah, this is okay. Alright, this fuse is really nice. Okay. The same thing as I did yesterday. Maybe 10 seconds ago for uh, the camera. So, we're going to start it up. Kill switch is off. Key's not on. There we go. Lubricate the pistons. Two good pulls. All right. Now, turning everything on. Let's see what happens. Okay, you guys can still see me. Okay, here we go. I didn't even prime it. Do I really have to say anything about these 